as you said, the more competitive or the more conventional business practices, which also like we want to accommodate, um, the framework is supposed to accommodate, um, you know, it's being designed to accommodate both what, what we might call these next, next economy uh, initiatives, which kind of these open value networks and these, um, DAOs and these, um, different kinds of un, um, what I call loosely coupled economic coordination. So um, uh, folks who kind of uh, spontaneous or, or improvised collaborations, pop-up things or things that are temporary or uh, include free agents kind of coming and going, um, but also more conventional um, or the like traditional business uh, frameworks and practices and that kind of thing. So um so yeah, being able to sort of be inclusive of the concerns of both uh, both types of initiatives, both um, categories of of businesses and ventures, and all kinds of uh, economic economically productive uh, groups of people. Um, yeah. And so, just quick quick thing about that, like um, you know, Tiberius with the. Uh, Sensorica, working mm-hmm. on kind of a open source hardware value network. They're excited about playing mm-hmm. with this, and they've done some iterations before in this space. Um, we've got the New York Textile Lab that exactly. is looking at trying to make that whole textile supply chain transparent. Where are the materials coming from? What's the accountability that you have as a textile company for the things you know for the toxic processes or things like that. There's actually also advantages to being able to make some things transparent from an accountability yeah. 